Fish and Money family. It's Darren Enns here again. And you're not going to believe what I got for you today. I got Thaddeus Lewis, who's a NFL uh, football player. And um, he played for the Ravens, uh, Philadelphia Eagles, and some other teams, the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, the Cleveland Browns were in there. Um, were the Texans. There's a few other teams he's played for. And um, I think he's coaching now for UCLA, but I asked him a question uh, on behalf of fish and money fans everywhere. Does he like to fish? And if so, tell us a couple fishing stories. So what I got to present for you today is Thaddeus Lewis and some fishing stories that he's going to tell us. And apparently he does like fishing. So I really appreciate, appreciate him getting on it and coming back to me with these fishing stories for you guys because uh he didn't have to do that but he did he did it and it's going to be good I, I think you're going to like this he has some pretty interesting stories to tell so here we go thaddeus lewis telling some stories about fishing what's up everybody at fishing money this your boy thad lewis and i love to go fishing i like i love to go fishing i try to at least go down to the keys the deep sea fish with my high school coach at least once a year man and um just to tell you man one of my favorite fishing stories was um I'm out there fishing and just to see nature and things like that. And I, ca I caught a strawberry grouper and it wasn't a uh, legal size. So I had to throw it back, but I didn't know that barracudas lurk under the boat and stalk and watch things and, and wait. Um, they're the ultimate predator. So I I'm, take them off the hook. I throw the grouper back in the water, man. He don't even make it down. Barracuda come by, slice him in half, boom, hit him. Um, just to see stuff like that in the wild out there in the ocean was eye-opening to me. And then I had another incident. I'm fishing. We're catching yellowtails. We're fishing at the top of the water. And I hook one in a cooter. I see the cooter chasing, so I'm really, 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 really fast. And I yank him out the water, pull him in the boat. The cooter get the tail but jumps out the water, hits the tail, and jump back in the water. And then the captain tells me, hey, man, next time let the cooler have it because if he jump in this boat, it might be a problem. So those were my two favorite fishing stories, man. I have more. I can go on and on and on, man. But I hope you guys enjoy this. So what did you think about that, fishing fans? How often do you get to see an NFL football player, a quarterback at that, to give you some insights into his fishing experience and give you guys some good stories about fishing. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. I was sure happy that, that he came back with that for you guys. And I'm going to try to get you some more, so make sure and click that uh, bell icon and click on the bell so that you don't miss the next one. I'm going to find get some more here. So we'll have more coming at you soon. Thanks for watching. This is Darren. I'm signing off. Bye.